Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. This video we're going to have a look at a new build for Windows 10. This is build 11082 and it's the first build since the November update for Windows 10. So this is technically the first Redstone build and we're going to see builds of Redstone coming out um, over the next few months that will lead to the public version which will be the next big release of Windows 10. Now currently in this build there are no nothing new to see because um, it's, it's just a new build but there's no new features. So what Microsoft are really doing uh, with this final build of uh, 2015, I'll say final, I, I don't know, they may sneak another one out but I doubt it, is that they're preparing the ground for Windows 10 updates going into next year. So there's some under the hood changes that we're not going to see. Um, which Microsoft referred to as one core, which and one core is the shared version of the shared core of window across all the devices. So it's the same one core um, on the tablet, on the phone, on uh, HoloLens, the Xbox, and this is update is about sort of bringing those cores, updating those cores, so that preparing for the next uh, phase of releases. So um, I've installed this build here on my um, uh, on core eight, and like I said, there's no new changes really. It does reset some things, there are sort of a couple of known issues, and it reset the drivers on the audio back to a previous version which doesn't work on here, so you may find you have that issue, and also the network driver didn't work, I had to roll the back to an earlier driver, but so I always had that problem with the uh, preview releases anyway. There are a few known issues, and you can see those in the Insider Hub. Um, so some language packs may fail to install. There'll be no copy, delete, or, uh, there'll be no progress dialog when you're copying, delete, and moving files, um, which is a bit odd. But so that they can fix that in a future build. And some of the application defaults, like which. Um, your default applications like when you open a music file have been reset so those are the sort of the the what the issues to watch out on. but actually i'm not seeing a huge amount of difference on this and i don't think we will now until we see future builds but coming is, is uh, extensions to the edge browser um and, and, and new features new uh, cortana features but at the moment uh, they're not enabled in here everything looks just as normal. So that's a very quick look at this build. I wasn't even going to do a video, but I thought I will do it because I keep up my tradition of doing build videos and hopefully in the new year we'll get new features and the build videos will get a bit more interesting with the new features to look at. So thanks for watching this video. You can see more on our YouTube channel. We've got Windows tips and uh, reviews and things like that on the digitallifestyle.com.